what's up Scorpio I was gonna wait until tomorrow to do a reading for you guys because I still am kind of like piecing together putting together my um, space and it feels awkward in here um, and I had some some things that I was gonna do to kind of make it feel comfy and then record again but I just felt like the message is more important at this point um, I feel like I'm just getting a lot of energy collective energy for you guys tonight so I wanted to do an energy check-in with you and you guys don't give a fuck what it looks like anyway <laughs> but um I do I'm excited about new changes going on and the change in um, my home and having a space where I can work and, and that's separate from the rest of the living space it's it's nice so um I wanted to make it my own I wanted to give it more of a personality um anyway this room also has a very loud echo because it's come it's it's kind of empty other than my desk so uh it feels weird or i feel like the recording also sounds a little strange but anyway who cares right so it's the message <laughs> all right guys so let's go ahead and get into it um spirit angels ancestors guides please help me provide scorpio sun moon rising with any messages you would like for them to receive also protect us with your white light of protection through the tarot amen um i just had some i i i don't i um there's the energy of communication okay uh coming in for you or feeling like there needs to be some sort of communication i just kept hearing like let's talk about it let's talk or somebody I feel like somebody wants is like trying to push you to open up which is hard to do to a Scorpio right so maybe they're waiting for you um, but I do feel like the energy of somebody wanting to initiate some sort of conversation or level of conversation with you um, and they're not and I feel like there's it's an it's the energy Scorpio I feel like this person knows <laughs> it's like uh, it's gonna be intense when it happens right so I feel like this is also part of the reason that it's not going on um, because this person, I feel like at this point with you and this connection, if it's a connection where there is a level of distance or distant communication or whatever, no communication at this point in time, something has happened where you've gone, you've done that like super silent Scorpio thing, right? So it's the energy of, I don't know what's going on with Scorpio. I don't know what Scorpio is up to. I don't know what Scorpio is planning. I don't know what Scorpio is going to say to me. I'm kind of scared of Scorpio. <laughs> it's the energy that I'm getting. So Let's go ahead and get into the reading. Um, let's see. I've been drawing some tea leaf cards to start the reading and some oracle cards for you guys. I'm gonna do that again really quick. Yeah, when I just shuffle the cards in here, it's so loud. <laughs> Spirit, angels, ancestors, guys, please help me provide Scorpio. Sun and rising. Get any messages you would like for them to receive? I feel like you're also kind of in the in the energy of you might be scared to reach out to people or anyone at this moment in time or point in time in your life because you are so focused on money you are so focused on the blessings in your life and the things that are going on that are positive for you um it's almost this level of you know it's that um i'm scared to invite any other energy like i'm safe with this energy i'm safe with what's going on i'm scared to invite anything else new into it i feel that's a genuine um fear because of uh past situations okay in your life scorpio um, but there has to be a level of balance, right? So understanding that not everybody's going to be like this past person, right? Or past people, whatever the situations were in your life, okay? So one more time. Washers running and it's like I'm still not used to all the noises here. Yeah. Mm. There's 
some sort of knowledge that you have about somebody's authenticity. Interesting. So I feel like this might be why you're quiet. Um, it's you're doing that Scorpio observing, right? You're watching, you're observing. There's a level of knowledge that you have about something, about someone, situation here that you know is not authentic and you're being quiet about it. I just feel you watching. The Wheel of Fortune, Fate, Destiny. This is the karmic cycle of completion. So it's like you've already done your karmic time, as I like to say. Um, You're watching. There's knowledge that you have about somebody here um, or a situation here that you know that, it, that it's not the truth. You know that they're not authentic, okay? With the Wheel of Fortune showing up here as well. Um, again, it's like you're moving on. There's a change in atmosphere for you. There's a change, and I feel like that's why you're being quiet here. It's almost the energy, Scorpio, of like, I just don't give a fuck right? Because it's not in my energy. It's not in my life, but it's observing something. And I think it's processing something in a way that possibly had uh, a different chapter in your life. Okay. Had you not gone, th gone through this cycle, karmic cycle here already, um, you might've even kind of approached the situation differently. You know who somebody really is. Okay but you're just being quiet about it. It's almost kind of let I'm let I'm going to let the universe handle that. And I just heard they will. It's funny how that stuff happens to you. Yeah. You've got a wonderful stroke of good luck coming in your future here. This is your fate. This is your destiny now. Um This is why you're being quiet. You know this. There is a level of caution as well. Um, and I feel like this is this energy here. And spirit is also, there could be an ancestor around you because this is the, the Ouija board card, caution. But this is also ancestors, loved ones that are passed away speaking to you. This is what this energy represents, Scorpio. So I feel like, again, um, maybe you're... Uh, Pay attention. Again, I, I got this message for you guys the other day when I did a reading. The exact two same cards almost came out right next um, in, in sequence with each other, right next to each other, right after each other. One or I don't remember if it was right after or there's one in between, but they were def definitely um, very close together in the reading. And it was the energy of pay attention to messages when you're out in nature. Pay attention to... Um, like get outside here, okay? Like the weather was yuck today where I live, but um, you know, when it's nice or when you can, cause I'm seeing the sunlight, right? When it's sunny, get outside and breathe, meditate, pray, because your, um, your ancestors have an, a, a message for you. And it's a message of caution. There's some level of importance. Look for messages within nature, within birds, within, birds always speak to me, it's crazy. Um, I will look out the window and see a random bird that I've never seen in my life the minute I'm thinking about somebody, a certain situation, and it never fails. When I look up, what, what, is that, what does that um, bird represent in the spiritual um, realm, right? So how, what, what significance does that animal hold um, in spirit animals, spirit guides, right? So, or um, animals that help guide you, um, and it always is in relation to exactly, it, it sheds a light on or shed some knowledge on the situation or the intensity um, of what's going on, right? So, um, or with that person, place, situation, whatever, okay? It's crazy. So for me, birds speak to me. So whatever it is for you um, and other animals too, it's not just birds, but mostly birds, Um Pay attention, okay? Is the message that I'm giving you this? Whoa, 
and then there's abundance here, okay? So this is a level of caution, and I don't think it's a scary caution. I think it's like a heads up, Scorpio. It's a heads up, like you've got these wonderful things coming into your life. Maybe there's a message from somebody that's passed away that had to do with some sort of money here or um, involving money, inheritance, some kind of situation along those lines as well. It could have something to do with that. I just heard for somebody as well. So it's this energy of pay attention, okay? Pay attention to these messages, okay? Because it is cautioning cautioning you in regards to money here and, and coins and abundance, okay? So whether it's avoiding a situation or in regards to literally a large amount of money and abundance in some way, shape, or form here, okay? Cautioning you a situation that has to do with money. I did a reading for you guys earlier today and I did not post it um, because it was so quick and I felt rushed um, before I, I worked. Um, but there was the energy here in interpretation again. That's so crazy that I just started talking about it was interpreting dreams Okay, the message was about interpreting dreams. Okay, there was a level of something going on in your life that um, People are showing up in your dreams. It's like some a situation possibly maybe that um, You've been thinking about already and 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 these people are, are now it's like you can't figure it out you're trying there's something rubbing you wrong about somebody in a situation this person may gaslight you or they play this if it's a feminine energy like they're very good at pretending or making people feel like oh um you know you say something and they're like automatically this very like a uh, sweet innocent person that why would you ever like think that i would ever have any ill intentions towards you or just make you, uh, they're really good at making people feel um, gaslighting basically, like really good at making people feel like uh, what you're thinking is not correct, what you're seeing is not correct, okay? Very, very good at manipulating energy, okay? So that's the message that I got as far as that was concerned. And it's, it's you feel it, you feel it. And once you feel it, I feel like this is not the first friend, this is not the first person in your energy, Scorpio. It's like feeling that energy and understanding now when you feel it like you feel it for a reason right every time it never fails it never fails in my life okay i just saw 12 12 that's crazy so it's like it never fails okay this person's energy specifically a feminine energy i felt like it was also another water sign energy if it's not water they had a lot of water or emotion tied to a connection or tied to a situation in relation to you scorpio male or fe female um but the energy this person had dark hair this feminine dark hair um and it was almost like this energy of imitating you or um hopefully it wasn't like literally like identity theft or fraud or anything like that because we were talking about money here but it's somebody pretending like they're you it was really weird it like made me feel weird and uncomfortable in the reading anyway but yeah comp holy shit confirmation that's crazy yeah so i feel like there's something Spirit is warning you, cautioning you, okay? Um, for someone, if there's a feminine energy that is kind of like, I don't, I, imitating you or doing something weird in some way, shape, or form, this person is um, actually, it's like this inauthentic energy. You're watching it. This could be the energy that you're watching and like, ah, uh, you know, like, I'm not even going to say anything. I'm just going to let the universe handle it. I feel like the universe is going to handle it. All right, so um, but ooh, there's some level of knowledge here that what you're seeking, you're going to find. All right, here with the dowsing rods and the seeker, it's like what you're seeking, you're going to find. So it's like this energy of prayer, meditation, um, even like interpreting dreams. Okay, I feel like it's like you feel it Scorpio and now you're it's like once a Scorpio feels something especially intuitive We don't stop. All right um, That's why we're called like the FBI of the zodiac signs, right? So it's like once you feel once you once you rub us the wrong way in some way shape or form or do something in some way shape or form that's a little off or we feel it a lot of times I feel it in my gut right away with people even if they're the nicest people in the world I'm like man that sucks because I thought they were probably nice and then I found out find out they were fucking weird as hell like three months later. You know what I mean? I'm like, well, all right. So it's like after you, <laughs> that happened so many times, you learn to trust it. I feel like it's this energy, Scorpio. I feel like there's 
spirit is cautioning you, warning you, so you're prepared. And I feel like you've watched and you're kind of like watched and been quiet because it's a level of almost like disbelief that this person was actually a personal friend of yours at one point in time as well. Um, I feel like there is some heartache concerned or pain or heartbreak in um, connection with this energy as well or a family member, whatever it is here. Okay, so, um, but again, it's the energy of quieting your mind um, and it's, 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 it's going to be revealed. If it's coming out in the dream state here, you're actively like, you're actively even like in the, um, in the astral realm, like wanting, you're trying to find it out. You might even be visiting this person in their dreams. If you've dreamed about them trying to see if you can, um, figure the shit out at this point. So energetically, it's like the universal law, whatever this person, uh, whatever this energy, whatever's going on here, it's, it's like, it's. There's going to be, if not, there, there's going to be communication about something here. But we've got the dictionary, so it's like doing a research. The wheels have already started just turning for you, Scorpio. Now at this point, it's just like, yeah. Um, thunder and lightning power. And then fortune cookie. Wow. Okay, so. There's a lot of, um, you're, you're not, you're being quiet because you're maintaining a level of power. Okay. And it has to do with money here and, 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 um, maintaining this power in regards to the situation at, at bay here. Okay. Um, let's draw one more card and see what's going on. Well, two came out and put these down in regards to this communication. Precision, mm, numerology, look. And as soon as I looked at this card, I saw the ones here and 111. And if you watch me, you know what I say about ones and perception, okay? What you think you create. If you're a very powerful Scorpio, which more than likely if you're watching this reading, you are. Um, and if you don't understand how powerful you are, and I'm looking at the number three too as well, as I'm, I'm saying that or talking about this, um, then you're learning how powerful you are, okay? And think about, when you think about, when I see 111, it's, uh, be careful, it's a warning, a caution for me here, so that makes sense whenever I see it that there needs to be a change and look in my perception about something in my thought process and this is perception it just shut out to you with it um because you're actually creating be careful if you're that powerful you can create things in your life okay um you're manifesting these things in your life okay um hmm you're manifesting communication with this person. You're watching, somebody's watching and trying to manifest communication with this person here. Um, like I said, either in the dream state or in, in reality, um, but it's like you want answers. You want answers about something and you know this person isn't gonna be authentic about answering you in regards to the situation with the truth. get a tarot deck this has gotten deep y'all i knew we had a message for for some reason it was important for me to get out and i felt it and i was like you know should i wait till the morning i was like no go do it now i feel it i feel it, I'm gonna do it now. uh spirit angels ancestors guys please help me provide scorpio sun and rising there's any messages she would like for them to receive what's your intuition about messages there's some significance about messages that you need to trust your intuition about text messages, SMS messages. There's a hidden truth behind them. All right, is the message I just got as well. If you've talked to somebody recently in some sort of message here, it may not even be the person that you're speaking to. 
Interesting. Or you think he's speaking to Sagittarius energy in reverse and then 10 of rods. There's somebody that, uh, this is a very unbalanced fire sign, water sign energy, cancer and Sagittarius energy combo or both, but there's the Ten of Rods as well showing up with this energy that's hiding the truth and very unbalanced because they're hiding the truth um, about something here. This could be a feminine energy. The Nine of Rods in reverse. Um, Hmm. This person could possibly is like kind of exuding like a little bit of a sociopath energy to me. It's like, I don't give a fuck, right? I'm unbalanced. I'm not, I'm not, I'm hiding things, but I don't, I don't care. Like this person has no emotion about if they're mimicking you or they're doing something here, um, or trying to, to, I don't know what it is or how this is, if it has to do with money Whatever it is, Scorpio, I don't feel like this person has any remorse for any of their behavior, whatever they do. Um, Knight of Cups could be involving a younger water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This energy is also looking your way, this direction away from that energy. So there could be this level of energy. Again, it's like almost like single white female-ish, male or female, take it however it resonates. But it's this energy of someone looking at you like, ugh. It just feels like, okay, they're pers they know their person wants you. So they're gonna dress like you, act like you. Um, weird, it's weird. Um, And this person doesn't care what they do, what they lie about. They have they have no um, remorse. They have no conscience at all. They only feel sorry when they when when they're in a position where it's like they feel like they're gonna lose their life or something like very intense or you know what I mean. Like it, it it's like uh, it's like they they're only sorry when they're pushed when they're actually reaping some sort of extreme karma. Is the only time this person ever feels sorry about anything. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. What is this Knight of Cups energy? Two of Swords. All right, so there's an energy here of something not being a wise investment. And um, there, I feel like Spirit is saying there's no decision to be made here, okay? There's something that's definitely not something that's going to be in your best interest and in moving towards right now at the moment here. I feel like you're doing the right thing, being quiet, um, watching waiting again it's like the universe you feel like it and if this isn't a um masculine energy this could be a feminine pretending to be a masculine energy too i'm feeling something extremely weird like that as well the fool card somebody wants to make you look like a fool or feel like a fool all right whoever that is And it has to do with your work here. It's like they want to discredit your work. They see you mastering your craft and it's like they want to make you look like a fool. Look like uh, they just, it's like the Eight of Pentacles is in reverse or get you focused, get your focus um, off work, money. But I feel like I'm talking to an energy here where you've kind of like risen above so much bullshit already that you're just kind of like not even male or female there, you know what I mean? It's like you can try, but I'm so focused on building right now and um, all the positive, wonderful things that are going on in my life that like, I've got my eye on you. I just feel like Scorpio, it's like, I feel like you're even sending this person this, this energy energetically. Maybe that's why you visited them in the dream state. It's like this energy of like, I'm, I'm watching you. That's <laughs> fucked up, Scorpio. But if you're protecting yourself, then fuck. You know what I'm saying? Then by all means, send that energy out, right? We're, we're definitely very good at, at um, doing that. Three of Pentacles energy. Yeah, this is this energy. It could be somebody that you worked with, work in the same industry with. Um, 
Three of Pentacles, collaborated with at some point in time, or had some sort of a, a casual sexual relationship with. Um, Queen of Pentacles, we have a feminine Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. Wow, hold on. Nine of Pentacles, Four of Rods, Judgment. Okay, somebody has been at, but very focused on wealth here um, in regards to a situation living with someone here or a twin energy here. Um, again, there could be like, it could be a situation also, Scorpio, where somebody is literally like trying to, and it's not going to work, you know, um, trying to make your twin believe, if, if you believe in that and you're on a twin flame journey, that they're their twin because they're they're in it for some sort of benefit benefit financially. Um, that's very specific and for somebody. Tower, Scorpio energy. And I just heard boom. Like I think that's it. Like I just hit the nail on the coffin. Whatever, whatever I just said right there. There's an energy of like, yeah. Um Maybe this has already happened or happening currently. Wheel of Fortune, karmic cycle of completion. Okay. This is, I've done my karmic time, bitches, right? I'll be over here watching you get served. Okay. Um, again, and this is fate, fated. Fate, destiny, whatever. If this person, if there was an energy trying to come in between you, nobody can ever take what is yours, what your fate is, what your destiny is. What If you're supposed to be on this earth in a twin flame connection for a reason, this is, um, nobody can change your destiny. People can try to delay it here, okay? But nobody can really, really take what is not theirs and I feel like this energy over here has like held on for dear life is what I feel like for somebody too it's this energy of feeling like um and I feel like that at this point that's why you're being so quiet because I feel like at some point it's just going to be so loud and clear for everybody to see here what's gone on for that situation specifically that people are just going to look at this person like bitch you're weird right <laughs> Yeah, and this is the death of the situation. Hopefully, this is not somebody passing away, but that is Scorpio energy, death and rebirth, the energy of um, completion, something ending, okay? I feel like there's definitely, if it hasn't happened, there will be an ending to whatever <clears throat> has gone on here, okay? Um, and this energy of feeling like, uh, it's like, I feel like there's a, you've had to defend yourself a lot as well maybe um like unnecessarily all right and this is also why you're in this energy of such good luck and high vibrational energy like it's like you've literally like a lotus flower grew from fucking mud right into and blossomed into a beautiful flower all right that energy scorpio okay so um let me see what we've got going on in your romantic life or energy really quick because that was intense when we're 28 minutes in. And then we're going to pull some other cards for you. So that was a very specific, intense reading. Um, finances and careers. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. So again, if you've been really focused on um, work and money, it looks like this is the energy of who I'm talking to in this reading. Um, it's affecting your love life. So maybe you're not even out there looking or into the even like... Uh, Again, I feel like going back to the beginning of the reading, it was this very closed off energy and not willing to open up exactly because you've been so focused on this money, on this, this building your, your, um, uh, life and, and making whatever it is, um, it's like really nurturing energy. It's like making, building a home life and, and, and making, you know, um, a life that's comfortable for yourself. And it's now that that's comfortable. You're scared to let any other energy in. So again, financial issues are a factor in your love life. I feel like it's not that you don't have enough money, Scorpio. I feel like it's the energy of, I'm really just focused on money. Okay. What is our energy do we have for Scorpio? Reconciliation, someone from your past is returning into your life, 
All right, take it however it resonates. Um, the message that I did get recently too, there has been past energy coming back and somebody not happy about it as well. Um, so whoever that's for, I feel like that's that message as well coming in. And then healing family issues, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So I feel like this is also gonna help you um, allow you to open up easier in connections as well. Healing whatever family issues you've had with your parents, uh, Scorpio, is really going to, whether if you're masculine and you have issues letting women in because you were really hurt by your mother or how or feminine that was hurt by your mother or father, however it resonates for you, okay? There's a level of understanding how to forgive yourself for the experience, forgive your parents, even if it's something you can't physically say to them or don't want to, but just energetically do so you can move forward and have happy, healthier relationships, loving relationships in your life. Allow these things to happen, okay? Um, let's see. What other messages do we have for the final outcome for Scorpio? I just saw judgment. Somebody is under judgment or will be. Leo energy as well. Streak. So maybe it's like be stay strong. The strength card, Leo energy. Maybe it's like the spirit stay stay strong in your convictions here because this energy is under judgment. Again, like you're, what you're doing, watching, knowing, acknowledging, but not not acting is the, the right thing to be doing here. Seven of Cups, because something definitely isn't what it seemed in a situation. Let me get out of the, that energy and focus on the question at bay. Okay, Spirit Angels, Ancestors, Guides, please help me provide Scorpio with any other messages you would like for them to receive for the final outcome. Best advice. You've changed so much, okay? And Spirit is saying, I'm proud of you. I just heard that. Like, there's a lot of growth here, okay? You've changed so much. This is devil energy, Capricorn energy. And I feel like this also is, is um, I feel like Spirit is saying, stay grounded. You, the growth, okay? When this energy shows up, when the devil shows up at your door, trying to get you to flip here or whatever's going on in this situation. It could be a family member, friend, lover, whoever, okay, when the devil shows up here, Scorpio, I feel like this is the energy of stay grounded. You know how much you've already grown. Maybe this has already happened, all right? Because there's expansion in your future. And this is also very intense sexual energy as well. Fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, for somebody, there's a Leo here coming into your energy, masculine energy as well here, that's very attracted to you, Scorpio. Best advice here, that's coming out in the final outcome, best advice. Um, this could have something to do with an energy here though that's not very good with the devil showing up as well. And I feel like Spirit is saying, you've grown, okay? This situation actually might just show you how much you've grown. I just saw 333 which means you're very protected right now, okay? There's somebody though that's, that's it's like the energy of, there's some clarity here going on as well. Understanding they regret something emotionally and they're, they're not ready to communicate that with you yet. Water energy, fire energy, air energy. But it's causing some unmanageability emotionally in their life at the moment. This person could be having crying spells too, I'm hearing, or just like going through it. Um, interesting. Spirit, angels, ancestors, guys, what other messages do we have for Scorpio? I'm drop two more, and then I feel like I wanna draw two more tarot cards too. Before we look at these, I'm going to end the reading. Best advice, the sun. Focus on what makes you happy. I felt like there was one more message that needed to get out, and that is it. This is swinging on a motherfucking ray of sunshine. I've done my karmic time, bitches. 
now I'm moving on or I'm just living my best life here and I don't give a fuck what you do over there. I am watching you, <laughs> but I'm also swinging on a motherfucking ray of sunshine and you aren't going to stop this light. Okay. I love that energy. Spirit is saying, stay the fuck in that. Okay. I like it. Ladder climbing towards success. Yes. Yes, bitch. Right? Yes. Frying pan, trouble and accusations. Somebody's trying to put you in the frying pan, accusing you of shit right now, but they're trying to do that because you are climbing towards success, all right? So know it and don't react to it, especially if there's rumors or there's a situation that comes up in your life, Scorpio. Just see it for what it is. I feel like this is also this caution and understand. It is what it is, right? So crib. Oh shit, birth or conception of a child or enterprise. So if you're not trying to get pregnant, this is the energy of pregnancy or the birth of an enterprise, a Scorpio. But um, I felt like there was a lot of energy here that was very focused on money. So for me, this is like the birth of an enterprise. Okay, this is, things are about to pop off for you um, in big, big ways. So again, it's very important to stay um Keep your head up, right? Climbing up the ladder, looking up. Don't look back down at these motherfuckers that want to pull you back down where they are because you've got this coming in in your energy too. And use your, use your intuition to make beneficial changes, the unicorn, okay? So this energy is really, um, you're very intuitive. You already know it's been all over this reading, okay, it, as well. So use your intuition to make beneficial changes and decisions in, in your life and trust yourself and understand that these messages and this, what you, your knowledge, okay, of this intuition, whatever's going on in these situations, don't second guess yourself, trust yourself and stay in this energy of um, making beneficial changes and climbing towards success in your life. All right, Scorpio, I hope this message was helpful. Until next time, lots of love and light. Bye.